Hello. Today I wanted to share with you 10 uses for essential oils that I have around my home. I use the essential oils on a regular basis and I have my favorites right here are my essential oils that I use. Of course, you don't have to start out with this many. Uh, I recommend just starting out from, with one to three. Um, go to the uh, health st store around you that sells essential oils or order you some offline that you uh, think that you might like to try or maybe that if someone shared with you that you thought well maybe I, I'd like to do that in my house uh, do your research on those oils that one oil that you start out with or those three oils that you start out with do your research on all of those the benefits um, the character of that oil is so easy to do that now. It's so easy to do the research and to find out about the things that you use. And I recommend just starting with one to three. And um, good ones to do that with are lavender. Lavender is a good starter oil. Uh, it's used in, in soaps and a lot of cosmetics and things. Smell lavender and, and see if that... Uh, if that uh, sounds like something you might like to use. It's got uh, the attributes so soothing, normalizing, and balancing. And it has a head ease blend. And this is 100% pure lavender oil. I use the nail brands. They work for me. For what I use them for, they're perfect. You can spend a lot of money. You can get very expensive oils. And there are plenty of um, reasons they'll tell you why you need to spend that much money on the oils. But 100% pure is 100% pure. And do your research and find out what works for you. What oil is best for your uh, needs and your budget and, and what you need to use them for. But I've always liked the nail brands. But I also uh, order some offline. The Laguna Moon, they're 100% essential oils, and they uh, come with some uh, ideas on how you can use your essential oils, and they come packaged like this, which is beautiful, and I've really had uh, good success with this this brand of oil, too, so just to, just find out. Get out there and look around if you, if you think it's something that you're interested in and something that you want to use. There's many people that just love essential oils. They're a daily part of their life. And I'm one of those people. It, they, it just enriches your life so much to be able to reap the benefits of these natural products to do things that you uh, need around your home without a lot of chemicals. Now, essential oils can be very strong. And uh, you always you need to do your research about how much you should use and the properties of each oil you intend to use. So, so make sure that you do that. I would recommend that. And these uh, 10 ways that I have for you, it, it, I, I've used for years. I've done these things for years. And reap the benefits of them and never had any adverse effects. Uh, the first one that I wanted to share with you is in a toilet paper roll. This is a simple way to freshen your bathroom. You want to use the toilet paper roll that has the cardboard uh, cylinder in the middle, the little cardboard roll, and just pick out whatever uh, choice of oils that you have that you want and just put a few drops on that uh, cardboard roll in the center of your toilet paper. You'll be surprised how this will scent your bathroom, and every time somebody uses the toilet paper, there it'll be. There'll be a fresh uh, smell coming out of there, and it stays on that cardboard roll, and it, it doesn't get up on the toilet paper part that you use, so that's a good way, a good way to freshen your bathroom. And another way that I use it in the bathroom is as a daily shower spray. This is uh, water and about a fourth a cup of ammonia in this spray bottle. And I use about 30 drops of cloves. I'm just going to put 10 in here. 
because I've already put the rest in there because I didn't want you to have to sit and wait and watch me drip 30 drops of oil in, in this. This is a daily shower cleaner. So whenever you take your shower when you get out, you know, this this smells wonderful. Clove ha cloves has, have wonderful properties. Um, and it's really good to add to your shower cleaner. Another one is the basil and grapefruit room freshener. I've already uh, shared with you in my other videos how I make my own room spray. So this is, uh, the majority of this is vodka or alcohol. You can use isopropyl alcohol for this uh, room spray too, but to me it's a little stronger and harsh. So I always use the vodka, it's a little milder and it it's just smells better. But my very favorite is basil and grapefruit air freshener. And I use uh, 10 drops of basil and 20 drops of grapefruit in a spray bottle. It just smell, it just freshens up your kitchen. It's uplifting. It's got that lemon in it. And uh, I love, I love to spray it. Another use I have, I went to a trip uh, on a trip with my sister and some friends not long ago, and we took our, I took my essential oils, and uh, I took just basic Kleenex. When we got to the room, and I put just a few drops of essential oil. Uh, we used patchouli because that was seemed to be everybody's uh, among us. That's the one that everybody wanted to use. I'll use frankincense now. And I just put a few drops on the Kleenex and everybody uh, put a few drops on their Kleenex. And it was a way to make that um, hotel room that we stayed in smell familiar and comforting and fresh and, and uh, relaxing the way we wanted to smell, the things we wanted to smell. So that's one of the tips that I have. I, I put a few drops on my Kleenex and just put it wherever I'm sitting if I'm reading a book or if I go out of town and, and I'm staying in a, a hotel room and, or put a few drops on this Kleenex and put it in my purse and take it with me. It's comforting and it's familiar and it's uh, uplifting and it's it's a good a good way to uh, to do that. Um, take that with you and then and make things smell better. And I make a roller ball for my children, my grandchildren. I I have a coconut oil in here, fractionated coconut oil, and I put lavender, about ten drops of lavender, in a roller ball, and I just uh, rub this on their little feet, <laughs> and they just enjoy it, and they like to smell it. My grandchildren love essential oils. They love to just, whenever I go in there and get one of these out, they're like, can we smell that, Granny? Can we smell that? <laughs> so I've already introduced them to a lot of this, uh, essential oils and lavender, of course, is, uh, is so mild and beneficial, uh, and you can use it. It's a good one. It's one of the ones you can use. Well, it's one of the only ones I can think of off the top of my head that you can use neat on your skin. You don't have to have a carrier oil to mix it with, you can uh, use it right out of the bottle. It's um, mild enough to do that and it won't burn you or hurt you. Uh, lavender is a really good oil to start out with. If you wanted to just start out with one oil, uh, I would recommend lavender. Do your research on lavender and, and see if that's something that you would like to use. And uh, that, that would be my recommendation for uh, if you were just trying one oil. Patchouli, I, I, in the past, I didn't care for patchouli. I, I didn't think that it smelled really good, but for the last few years, I have really loved the smell of patchouli. It has really grown on me. Um, and it, to me, it's also comforting. Only 50% of the people, they say, like patchouli. Uh, on some research that I've read, so... <laughs> And it's a very strong oil, so you you wouldn't want to use but just a little bit of, of patchouli if that was one of the uh, few oils that you were choosing to try. 
but most of the people that like jewelry love it. They love it. And I have grown to really, really love the smell of patchouli. Another one I love is rosemary. Oh, I, I love the smell of rosemary. Boy, I really like all of them. I can't, <laughs> I can't really limit myself to three. But rosemary, that is an awesome oil. If you uh, choose to do that, a lot of people like lemongrass. Lemongrass is a good, clean, uplifting smell. Um, that's a good one to try. Okay, number six is uh, in a garbage can. Whenever I change my garbage can and I put a new liner in them, this is the one that sits by my desk over there, but when I, I change my trash can, we'll try lemon, lemongrass this time. I just put a few drops of the lemongrass oil in here because trash cans, they can get stinky, and this is just a good way to um, make that smell better and to put that good scent in the air. And number seven would be my diffuser. Of course, I uh, diffuse oils. And I change those up often. Um, the holidays are coming up, Thanksgiving, so it is nice to just add some cloves and cinnamon and lemon uh, to, to make the house smell like um, Thanksgiving, like you're cooking something. <laughs> so I use the essential oils in my diffuser. And number eight is um, lemon oil. I like to use lemon oil to soak off labels. I save the amber jars and the dark green jars for my tinctures and for other things from my olive oil and my avocado oil. So this uh, really, once you get off the label and the sticky residue is on there, a few drops of lemon oil will take um, the label. It'll help that label come right off. You just rub it a few drops on the glue and let it soak for a few minutes and, and take something in like a you know a cloth and just rub off that that glue and wash it so that's uh number nine would be on my wool um, dryer balls just put a few drops now for laundry i like to put eucalyptus i like the smell of eucalyptus on the laundry balls but just put a few drops of essential oil that you like that you've researched and you want to use just put a few drops of that on your wool dryer balls and you don't have to use um, anything else, you know, that freshens your laundry and prevents static and, and is a great asset to your dryer. And the, my favorite way, I think, to use essential oils is on our blankets. I have six grandchildren. I have blankets all over the house. They make forts and they drag them around and I wash them frequently, and after I get them out, I'll put a few extra drops of some relaxing good scent on, on the blankets so that they smell good and they smell like Granny's house. That's my 10 favorite ways to use essential oils around my home, and I hope this has helped you, gave you a few ideas, and piqued your interest on essential oils. If you use them, I encourage you to continue using them, and if you have any ideas you'd like to share in the comments I'd be glad to have those and I'd, I appreciate you and thank you for uh, watching my video today and I hope that you have a good day and encourage you to, to use what you have thank you